I heard this story from Barak Holman on the Hasidic Story Project. The way the story goes is that the Baal Shem Tov once had a Hasid. His name was Reb Zev. And Zev was very interested in black magic and all these kinds of dark arts. He befriended a group of people that were doing these kinds of uh, sorcery, sorcerous things. And they were teaching him everything. And Zev decided, you know, before I switch my life and do this, let's spend one more Shabbos with the Baal Shem Tov. So he goes for the Shabbos to the Baal Shem Tov. And he's sitting there in this big room. He's on one end, the Baal Shem Tov on the other. And he feels himself starting to heat up, getting very warm. The Baal Shem Tov notices. So he says, Zev, why don't you take off your hat? You seem warm. So he does. But it doesn't help. So the Baal Shem Tov says, you know what, Zev? You seem very warm. Why don't you take off your coat? So he takes off his coat. Still nothing. Eventually the Baal Shem Tov says, you know, Zev? It's very cold outside. Maybe you could go outside, get some fresh air. It might help you. But don't stay out there too long because it's not good for you. So he does. He goes outside and immediately the fresh air feels great. But he feels himself still heating up. So he starts to take a walk. And now he feels himself, you know, the heat's growing. So he starts walking faster and faster and faster until he passes out in the snow. And Zev wakes up, looks around. He's in a strange place. Doesn't know who he is, where he is, what day it is. Nothing. All of a sudden, this old little lady walks in the room. And she goes, oh, he's awake. She quickly, she gets her husband to come to give him some water. He said, who are you? Where are you from? He says, I don't know. I, I don't know anything. They said, well, you've been in a coma for two weeks. I, I mean, we, we can try and help you if you want. We could, we could call you Peter if you want, and you could stay here with us and help, out, help around the farm. So he says, okay. And Peter begins helping these, this couple on the farm, and he stays there for about a year. Now, the old man is walking through the town. He sees that they're recruiting for the Tsar's army. So he comes back and he says, Peter, you know, we can handle the farm by ourselves. But I think your skills would be better suited in the army. You would do great. He says, I really don't, you know, I'm happy here. They said, no, it's better that you go. So he does. He goes and he joins the army and he does do great. He immediately catches on all the skills, shooting, strategy, everything. And he becomes a high ranking general. He commands a fleet of 10,000 people. And Peter is doing so well, saving lots of lives, traveling all over the country. And one day, him and his fleet are moving through the country. They're passing through a small town, and he seems to notice something. He says, wait a minute, I feel like I've been here before. He remembers everything. Ah, I was a chassid of the Baal Shem Tov. I was interested in black magic. He says, wow, and the Baal Shem Tov was messing around with me, you know, fooling, teaching me silly things. I should go show him what becomes of a chassid that leaves his ways. They could become a high-ranking general like me. So he takes his fleet on a three-day journey, and they go into this town. And uh, Peter goes up to the door of the Baal Shem Tov's house. Doesn't even get off his horse. He just kicks the door. No answer. So he kicks it again. But nothing happening. So he gets off his horse, takes out his sword, and starts banging onto the door. It says, open up in the name of the Tsar. And he hears a little voice, who is it? So it says, I'm here in the name of the Tsar. I demand you open this door. So the Baal Shem Tov comes, opens the door, sees Zev, grabs him by the collar and pulls him in. And just like that, Peter looks around. And he's been transported. 15 years, he's gone back in time. He sees the same Shabbos where he was overheating, all the people there. It's like not a moment passed. And the Baal Shem Tov says, Zev, I, I told you not to stay out in the cold so long. It's not good for you. And Reb Zev realized that anything he was interested in, any kinds of black magic, has nothing on what the Baal Shem Tov can accomplish.